The year 2025 is turning into a heated contest between Tesla and BYD. These two companies are truly fighting to prove who the real leader in the electric vehicle world is. BYD already has cars priced as low as $9,000, and this year, their earnings are once again outpacing Tesla's, just like they did back in 2023. That makes the upcoming launch of a $25,000 Tesla feel a little less exciting for some people, since the price is still out of reach for many buyers, and much more than what BYD charges for its ass. Entry-Level Models That is why Elon Musk decided to make a bold move. Tesla shocked everyone by announcing that the base rear-wheel drive Model 2 will launch in a price of just $15,990. It was a surprise that few saw coming. But before we dive further into what this car offers, let's take a moment to remind you if you enjoy deep insights into Tesla's strategies and innovations, then you're in the right place. You are watching Amp Drive, and we are still a small but growing channel. We have fewer than 1,000 subscribers right now, so if you find this video valuable, please consider subscribing to help support us and never miss an update on the EV world. Now, back to the Model 2. Even though the low price sounds like a dream come true, it comes with a catch. Tesla had to make a lot of compromises to hit that number. It might still be more than enough for customers who just want a functional and affordable electric vehicle, but others who are used to Tesla's usual high-end features might not be so impressed. The Model 2 is scheduled to debut in the fourth quarter, likely in November which is also the time of Tesla's annual shareholder meeting. So let's take a closer look at how Tesla lowered the cost, what the car keeps, what it loses, and whether it can really meet the expectations of both budget-conscious and loyal fans. Whether you've been watching Tesla for five days or five years, you know the idea of an affordable Tesla has always been a hot topic. It makes sense people are curious how a company known for premium electric cars could make something within reach for everyday drivers. The story behind this model has only grown more interesting over time. Elon Musk has made bold claims, like saying this car would be built on the most advanced production line on the planet, capable of handling massive volume, and using technology that used to seem impossible for Koki. Such a low-cost vehicle. Oddly enough, though, this car has not always been Musk's main focus. That might sound confusing. While he has praised the vehicle's concept, Musk is not very interested in making regular cars without some kind of major innovation. In fact, Reuters reported that at one point, Musk called the Model 2 pointless, especially when Tesla was focusing heavily on self-driving features and automation. That is why projects like the Cybertruck and the RoboTaxi, also known as the CyberCab, were pushed ahead of it. But after many changes, delays, and revisions, we are finally seeing major progress. Tesla has now confirmed that the $15,990 model is officially in production at the Fremont factory. That explains why test versions have been spotted multiple times around the plant. One of the main reasons we must wait until November for the release is that the car still needs to finish final testing. Tesla needs strong sales right now to continue its growth, especially after disappointing numbers in both the first and second quarters of the year. The third quarter is the perfect time for Tesla to try to win back customers. And launching a truly affordable model seems like the smartest strategy right now. However, there's a new obstacle. The $7,500 federal tax credit that used to help Tesla buyers in the United States has recently been taken away. That credit made Tesla's cars more attractive to average consumers. Now that it's gone, Tesla must lower prices even more possibly by $7,500 or even $10,000 to keep the Model 2 competitive. According to Tesla, the Model 2 will look similar to the Model Y up to 80% of the design may be the same. But it will be smaller since it is a hatchback and will have a more basic interior. There is not much to say about the design. It includes a light bar that resembles the CyberCab Model Y, but with shorter and more compact front and rear sections. That fits with the car's overall length of about 157 inches. 
As expected, this car will not include luxury features like large wheels, power liftgate, glass roof, heated seats, double glazed windows, or the 12-speaker sound system found in the Model 3. The Model 2 will have fabric seats instead of synthetic leather, no rear screen, and basic single-layer windows. Even the roof will be made of metal instead of glass. It might sound like a lot of cutbacks, but those choices are exactly what allow Tesla to lower production costs by several thousand dollars. For example, using fabric instead of synthetic leather saves about $500 per vehicle. Choosing steel wheels instead of alloy wheels saves another $300 to $500. Reducing the number of speakers and removing fancy lighting trims off another few hundred dollars in cost. One of the most interesting changes is the motor. Tesla is now testing a new motor that uses ferrite magnets instead of rare earth materials, which are expensive. This alone could save about $1,000 per motor, while also helping Tesla reduce its dependence on Chinese supply chains. The good news is that Tesla has kept the most important things. You will still get a central touchscreen display, basic autopilot features, Tesla's phone app, and wireless software updates. But the real reason Tesla can offer this model at such a low price comes down to the battery. Instead of using a large battery like the 61 or 75 kilowatt hour packs used in other models, the Model 2 will be equipped with a 53 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It has less capacity but makes perfect sense for a compact hatchback. Choosing a bigger battery would only increase costs and defeat the purpose of offering a budget EV. These lithium iron phosphate batteries are not as energy dense as others, but they are cheaper and longer lasting. Thanks to the car's aerodynamic shape, small size, and lightweight wheels, it is still expected to have a driving range of around 240 miles, a strong number for a car under $20,000. At first, the batteries will be imported from Tesla's partner Cattle in China. But starting next year, Tesla plans to build them in-house at a new lithium iron phosphate battery facility in Nevada. Tesla has already purchased the equipment from Cattle and will be installing it at that plant. This could cut battery costs by as much as $1,500 to $2,000 per unit and also help Tesla avoid import taxes. In terms of production, Tesla is keeping things smart and simple. According to Lars Morabi, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, there is no need to build a whole new assembly line. The Model 2 will share the same lines as the Model Y and Model 3. That saves time, money, and resources. And yes, the Model 2 will continue using Tesla's powerful GigaPress technology. This time, Tesla is going further than before. Instead of just casting the rear underbody like it does with the Model Y, Tesla will cast the entire underbody of the Model 2 in one single piece frame, chassis, and body combined. To do this, they are building a massive 50,000-ton gigapress, confirmed by Elon Musk during a company-wide meeting earlier this year. This casting system will allow Tesla to finish a Model 2 in just 15 seconds. That is less than half the time it takes to build a Model Y at Giga Shanghai, which rolls off the line every 3 to 5 seconds. Having fewer parts and fewer connection points means fewer chances for defects and an easier time automating the process. This helps make that $15,990 target realistic. The Model 2's price advantage also brings up an important question. If it is so much cheaper than the Model Y, will it affect Model Y sales? It is a valid concern. But Elon Musk has handled this type of situation before. Think about Toyota. They have both the Corolla and the Camry. One is smaller, the other larger, and both sell well because they serve different buyers. Tesla plans to do the same. Model Y customers are paying for more room and comfort. Model 2 buyers are looking for a smart, budget-friendly option. This car is perfect for daily driving, short trips, and small families. Meanwhile, the Model Y will still be the choice for those who want a roomier, more comfortable ride. Reports suggest that Tesla will offer two versions of the Model 2, 
a base rear-wheel drive and a long-range all-wheel drive version. There will not be a performance edition at, least not during the initial launch. That makes sense, since this car is meant to be practical and affordable, not a speed machine. The base version, at $15,990, will include a single rear motor and offer about 240 miles of range. The all-wheel drive model, expected to start at $19,990, will include two motors, a larger battery, and could go up to 300 miles in ideal conditions. It will also be quicker, going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds compared to 7 seconds for the base model. While Tesla continues to focus on developing full self-driving and robo-taxis, Chinese brands like BYD, Wuling, and NIO have been growing quickly. These companies already sell electric cars under $15,000. One of the most popular examples is the BYD Seagull, which costs around $11,000, has a 38-kilowatt-hour battery, and can travel more than 300 kilometers. Chinese car makers are ahead because they control their own parts and have major government help. Tesla cannot rely only on its brand. That is why the Model 2 is so important not just for the United States, but also for growing markets like India, Southeast Asia, and Latin America. Tesla still has a big advantage when it comes to software, design, and global trust. They are also upgrading their current lineup. The new Model Y L now has three rows and more space for bigger families. Meanwhile, the upgraded Model 3 Plus features a high-powered motor and a better battery from LG, offering over 500 miles of range. Sales in 2024 did not meet Elon Musk's expectations, and 2025 started with another drop. A new Model Y came out in early 2025 and was expected to help sales, but that did not happen either. If Tesla cannot spark more demand with full self-driving, then the future depends on these new models. Without them, Tesla could shift from profit to loss in a short time. So the big question now is do you think the Model 2 with its stripped-down design and low price is the right fit for you? Or were you hoping for something more? And does the price of $15,990 make this Tesla a game-changer?